Welcome to WV Fine Woodworking. I'm Don Bullock. This video is part of my series of handy tools. I'm going to share with you some center point rules that I found very useful in the shop and on home improvement projects. This is one of the sides of the outfeed table that I'm making. Yes, it's on top of my table saw because right now that's the biggest flat space in my shop, which is one of the reasons I need this table. I'm planning on screwing and gluing the sides of the outfeed table to the legs. Even though the screws will be hidden, I decided that I wanted them equally spaced. To measure where I need to drill the holes, I'm using my 24 inch center point rule. These rules come in 12 and 24 inch lengths. Later on, I'll tell you where I got them. I'll also leave the link in the description below. This is the same 24 inch rule that I used in my video, Short Ruler Trick, as part of my Tricks and Tips for Woodworker series. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. To find the center of this board, I set the rule on the board and left the same amount of overhang on both ends. Then, using the rule, I'll mark the spacing. I'm marking mine at 5 inch increments. Now I'm ready to drill the holes. The holes are drilled and countersunk. As you can see, the sides have been attached with glue and screws. The outfeed table is now ready to be completed. After I routed out the miter tracks and added finish, the outfeed table was put in position behind my saw stop. You can check out how I used the center point rules to lay out the screws and dowels on the legs in the short ruler trick video. And look for the project video on my outfeed table. That's just one example of how to use these center point rules. I've used them for many other projects in the shop and also in the house. Whenever I need to hang a picture in the house or need to find the center of the frame so I can put the bracket on the back, I use the center point rules for that. I really like these center point rules from Lee Valley. Yes, center point rules are available from other places. I've even found them on Amazon. These are actually made in the United States. They're very deeply etched 1 8 inch graduations in stainless steel with the black that's easy to read. I really find these very handy around the shop. If you like this video, remember to hit the thumbs up down below. In the description, I've also left a link to the Lee Valley Center Point rules, as well as links to videos that are related. While you're there, you can leave some questions or comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching this channel, and please subscribe. Thank you very much.